Hey what's up, my name is Martin, I'm the creator of Super Mega Space Game. In this channel I'm making Cocos Creator tutorials. Uh, in this video we will see how to use global variables. Uh, global variables are extremely useful when you want to move data uh, in between scenes or if you want to keep data alive until you close the game and uh, access it globally from uh, all scenes. Uh, let's start. First, uh, we will have two, uh, two scenes and uh, we will transfer uh, data from one scene to another so let's design this scene uh, I want to add um, edit box I'm putting edit box here my edit box uh -huh. and I will resize it to make easy to edit oops this is text label and there is another text label so I scaled both and there is a maximum length here uh, I will increase it because I don't want to limit anything now. Um, now we will have a save button. I'm adding a button here and this will be save button and let's size it and save data. This will be save button and we will need a button for change the scene so we want to see if you can save data in this scene and load from next scene load scene 0 2 this will change the scene to 0 2 okay Let's scale it. Okay, this will be okay. So let's add some. Um, sorry, label node. Scene title. It's not important how you rename uh, nodes, but I like to keep things organized. Scene zero one. Then I will duplicate this titles. Yes. This is our secret info. So we want to save secret info here and load next team keep things organized okay it seems fine now I'm saving this scene and uh, now um, I'm creating a controller main game control so I will add all uh, scripts to this controller node to keep things organized, as I said before. Now we will create a um, component script. Um, main game control. Now I will drag and drop main game control script to my main game control node. Okay, let's edit this script now I will add edit box uh, reference here edit box cc edit box okay so we will need several methods here 
one method will save the data and the other method will load the data in uh, second scene and uh, we will need to load scene 2 and scene 1 so we need four different functions here um, save data load data load scene 2 load scene 1 and if we want to go back and front so we will use these functions okay uh, let's come to most important part uh, so uh, when uh, this script loaded we want to define a global a variable uh, gro global variable is uh, defined like this window dot my global data a window object is a root object in javascript and uh, you will be able to access in any javascript uh, um, code so uh, we uh, we will define uh, my global data on window uh, object so uh, first we define like this then you may access this uh, data like that way so first when you defining you need to define as window that my global data but when you using it you can use it like uh, just my global data because window object is a root of uh, javascript code so we will define it like this uh, maybe we can just keep it empty uh, empty string but the problem is uh, we will keep this uh, main game control on uh, different scenes uh, and uh, each time it uh, loaded it will uh, overwrite the main global data but we don't want to do this we want to keep main global uh, my global data alive so we will change it like this if uh, script finds uh, this variable uh, will not change it but if it uh, can't find it it will uh, assign it as a empty uh, string so this is the best way to keep it alive until you close the uh, game okay so when you hit uh, save button we will uh, save the data into my global data uh, we will get the string of edit box into my global data. My global data equals edit box. Uh, this this dot edit box dot string. And loading is opposite of this. Yeah, saving and loading is okay. Now we need to add the code for loading scenes. CC director dot load scene scene two and scene one. Let me check it if there is a typo. No, it seems fine. Okay, let's go to the editor and here is main game controller and we need to link edit box here my edit box goes here okay and we will add uh, click events save button this is button script uh, we will add a click event here and show main game controller to link and main game control component then choose the function you want to call save data and another link for load scene i will take my main game control main game control we want to load scene 2 okay i'm saving this and now uh, i want to duplicate the scene 1 so i will copy and paste 
and rename it as scene 02 let's edit it here we are in the scene 2 so I will change these um, labels and I want to change this button as load data then this uh, function will be called load data okay and we want to go back to scene one so this label should be scene one and the function should be load scene one yes it seems fine so far go to scene one and run the script uh, run the game sorry cross your fingers okay let's type something here super mega space game is awesome this is very secret information okay we set the string and save data let's go to the scene 2 yes we are in the scene 2 and we'll try to load data yes it worked as you can see we switched between scenes and load it's still alive this is how we use global variables to keep data alive until you close the game uh, so uh, this tutorial ends now and uh, look for uh, next videos for persist nodes to keep uh, not only data to keep uh, items nodes and uh, other stuff in between uh, scenes uh, in next video so this is all for for now thank you for watching see you bye